law mandated the Department of Education, DepEd, Commission on Higher Education, known as CHED, Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, and the Department of Social Welfare and Development, in coordination with the Department of Environmental and Natural Resources, Department of Science and Technology, also known as DOST, and other relevant agencies. So meaning, these different um, educational institutions, educational department like CHED, like DepEd, like TESDA, must um, coordinate with different environmental agencies on educa and educating people about eco-literacy and about environment, the problems, and the possible or potential solutions that they can provide. So third law is So the Philippine National Environmental Awareness and Education Act of 2008, which provides the promotion of environmental awareness to the en environmental awareness <coughs> through environmental education, which shall encompass environmental concepts and principles, environmental laws, the state of international and local environment, and local environment best practices, the threats of environmental degradation and its impact on human well-being, the responsibility of the citizenry to, to the environment, and the value of conservation, protection, and rehabilitation of natural resources, resources and the environment. So meaning, this app promotes environmental awareness by encompassing concepts like laws, like also stating the current state of by stating the current situation of our environment and to teach citizens, especially students and teachers, schools, to help and be part of conserving, protecting, and rehabilitating the environment. So our fourth and final law is the RA 9512 or the Department Issued Debit Order Number 72 Series of 2018, which directing all heads of the department to the need for establishing the Youth for Environment in Schools Organization, also known as the YESO. Alam ko na hindi lang kami, yung generation namin, but yung sumunod na generation sa amin, you also encountered or uh, narinig nyo rin yung about sa YESO Club, if I'm not mistaken. So, this law is the responsible for that organization kung paano siya na-establish. Kasi siya yung nagda-direct sa lahat ng heads ng department like Department of Education to establish clubs which promotes environmental conservation. Since yung SO Club, nag-establish sila ng programs like tree planting, like clean, clean and green drives sa schools. So, next. <coughs> So, so, to sum it up, and before we proceed to the next part of our webinar, I would like to summarize all of the things that I've discussed. So, basically, Mother Earth provides our need. It provides um, food, shelter, clothes to us. And us, we, we should reciprocate that love to them by providing help through educating ourselves, through educating other people, to live with those principles, understand ecological idea, and internalize and wake up ourselves on the sense of responsibility to achieve sustainable community and to create a community or a country where all citizens are eco-literate. And I think that we should not focus on just progressing economically, on our military, dapat hindi lang tayo doon nagpa-progress. But at the same time, we should build a greener country and a greener world for all of us. So I hope that you learned something, especially those who are watching our FB Live. I hope that you find this webinar or my topic fun and at the same time, you, great, you gain great knowledge about eco-literacy. So thank you and have a good day. Very great. Um, well, partner, uh, Mr. Alora really emphasizes his topic. Um, everyone, we should know what's the thing or what are the things uh, worth of fighting for scientifically and socially thinking. Well, just to add, um, we can, uh, we need to, you know, uh, respect everyone's, you know, opinion uh, scientifically and socially, but, you know, 
must still respect each other. Okay, so mm -hmm. what can you say about it, partner? It's actually true, partner. Um, as we have mentioned earlier, uh, we are considered as part of the 21st century babies, and we need to be responsible enough, of course, for the future one as well. And that's actually correct as what you have mentioned. It's it's definitely um, the right thing to do. We should know what's the worth of things fighting for. And yep. Yeah. yeah, truly we are. But anyway, let's have some uh, short rest. Um, we'll read some shout out or comment on the comment section of our FB Live and also here in our Google Meet. Uh, let's like uh, answer some questions here, like the simple questions. Uh, you go ahead first, partner. Okay, so we'll um. So while we are um, telling you guys some shout out on the um, FB Live that we have, you can actually take a pee or you can you can actually uh, take some short rest. So we'll be mentioning some of our special uh, viewers um, earlier on the first FB Live because we a technical issue. Tayo. So let's um, let's hear. I mean, let's um, let's call on the pro special person. Our participation from our viewers in um, Laurel Batangas. Hi there, guys. If you are still view, uh, watching our FB Live, we also have some viewers from Balayan Batangas. Hi there, guys. You, Parker, can you see some other viewers nationwide? <laughs> well, uh, let me check here in our uh, Google Meet. Uh, some are asking, uh, this is for everyone's information, uh, some are asking if we were going to provide a uh, E certificate for this webinar. Uh, this webinar, yes, guys, we will provide this uh, for you. We will uh, send this one to your email. And thank you, uh, Ferry John Javier, for your uh, comment. We truly appreciate that one. And yeah, um, are you done, partner? Ah, uh, yep. Um, I also wanted to uh, add, or uh, for or some viewers from San Juan City, Manila, and we also have. Uh, watchers from um, Taiwan. So hi there to I think this is the family of Mr. Manakan, our next speaker. And uh, we also have the first uh, uh, the viewer from um, the I think this is the mother of Miss Penyaranda. Hi there, hi there po. And yep, hi there guys. Sa lahat ng nanonood sa atin, shout out to you guys. Partner, last thing we have here on our Google Meet, we have. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is Chari Lau. Hi, uh, shout out to Dao sa Laguna College of Business, Business and Arts. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Chari Lau, for attending this webinar. We truly appreciate it. Well, moving forward, partner, you guys be ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay. Uh, because our last speaker. <laughs> of this webinar <laughs> he is a guest student during uh, his senior high school years and graduated as a uh, win honors and um, best in work immersion uh, daycare best in work immersion daycare teacher assistants he also became a silver medalist at the university of the philippines diliman during the geology summit 2017 essay writing contest, a former science club external vice president in College of Education, and currently the Institute Student Government Secretary of our school, Yulogio Amang Rodriguez, Institute of Science and Technology, nearest Manila. Let's all welcome the last but not the least, our very handsome Mr. Mark L. Manok. <laughs> So, um, narinig po ba ako? Uh, yes, narinig po ba? Yes, loud and clear. Uh, so, um, thank you, Miss MC, for the introduction. And hello, guys, to all the participants in our webinar, especially to those in the FB Live, to our teachers and to all of I hope you guys are doing well today. And... I'm very much delightful to be here. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty much nervous because not for the reason that I will be speaking in front of you, but because of my connection actually today it's raining here and 
if you can hear the um, sound of the rain outside and the babies. Um, so my name again is Mark Lagapa Monokan and I am your third speaker. And to formally start this, let me ask you some questions. So first question is that, who among you here loves science? Okay. May I see some hands? Okay. Who among you here loves science? Ayan. And who among you here love art? Thank you. Thank you for raising your hand. Now, who among you here love art? Okay. And who among you here don't love? Who among you here don't like both? Okay. What's the difference? Art and science. Is there really a difference? Um, can we put them together? Will art complement in science? Is there a difference? Well, sir, why do we need to tackle this? Our topic for today is arts and creativity as a medium in learning science. Sir, why do we have to tackle this? Because who knows if among you here are future educators. So some of my um, informations that I will be going to give today, you can do it in the future. And as well, if you can hindi ka mag teacher as a parent na lang, we are going uh, we are going to talk here as medium in teaching so tayo may mga anak tayo in the future so tuturuan nila tayo pwede nating magamit yung makukuha nating matutunan dito okay okay now here listen i know that some of us find science boring and just um, or this is a waste of time useless and unapplicable to real life situation so now i'll be discussing this to you okay can you can you show us the second slide, please? It has become a common belief that the huge difference between art and science means that these two extremes are not to be mixed with anything else, religion versus science and art versus science, and are often regarded as distinct. Either a person can't be serious about both or interest in one of the more related relate somehow to work in another as what i've said so next slide please can you show us the image yan just like that image people tend to believe that art and science which seems to be like the these two liquids which is the oil and the bottom which is the water so a great deal of creativity is required to make scientific breakthroughs and art is just an often of expression or a product of scientific knowledge. Consider um, science behind mixing paint with correct proportion. It's just simply create or just simply um, art by creating a perspective. Kung napapansin nyo sa paligid nyo, halos lahat ng bagay, kung hindi nyo napapansin, um, may collaboration between science and art. And that's... Um, yun yung i-take note natin na unlike dito sa image, old na yan na belief na art kasi siyempre kung iisipin po natin ang science is a serious part whereas art is more on colorful part. So paniniwala ng mga tao is mahirap siyang i-mix um, together just like this two fluids. Next slide please. Okay. Traditionally, art and science have been treated as two separate disciplines, but when we are going to see and study it together, it's clear that there is a huge impact one has made on the other. So according to Bill Spector, a psychology professor, there is a clear relationship between understanding art and being able to communicate science effectively. So having a good visual really helps convey ideas and information in a clear way. It is really a good way to get people to understand your ideas. So science and art are a very nature of human attempts to understand and describe the world around us. Though these subjects and method have different traditions and the intended audiences are different. In many cases, their basic motivations and goals are fundamentally the same. So, bakit ka ba engage sa art? Diba? To understand, um, to express your um, emotions, to understand yung mga bagay sa paligid mo. Kaya ka nga, diba, nag um, On the other hand, naman, nag engage ka sa science, 
for you to explore. Kumbaga, magkaiba lang sila ng medium, magkaiba sila ng way, but they have the same target to explore and to explore the environment around us. So third, next slide, please. Okay. Visual art has been used to document the natural world for thousands of years, from caves, drawings of animals that help today's researchers found out yesterday's fauna, to paintings of century-old experiments that shows us how they are conducted. So cave painting is considered one of the first expression of human animals' appreciation of beauty and a represent representation of mythic or sacred side of life. So, cave painting was the people of the past version of documentation. So, cave and art is significant because it was the people of prehistoric times did in order to record and uh, record the history and culture. So, di ba, malaking tulong to sa science itong mga art paintings na gaya nito. Kasi with that, scientists were able to conclude and um, have an idea of what is exactly happening years ago, before pa yung mga new generation ngayon. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng idea, gaya na lang nung sa image. Merong mga animals na, with that, na, ano natin, na hunting yung kauna na nilang way of, ano, then, dun din na-discover natin na stones yung mga gamit nila, mga utensils. So, doon pa lang, dati pa lang, meron na siyang collaboration, yung art and science. So, ngayon, hindi naman sila basta-basta lang yung mga, ano natin, mga prehistoric na, or mga ninuno natin na gagamit lang ng basta-bastang materials. Kung baga, nag-undergo din siya. Kung bakit, for example, sa tingin mo ba, um, na-create nila yung fire, in what way? Di ba? Mayroon silang um, procedure na ginawa. Nag-undergo din sila ng mga experimentation, trials. Yung mga trials na yun, makukonsider na natin siya as experiment. Kasi you are in the process of exploration. So with that, from out of nothing, nagkikreate ka ngayon ng bagong idea. Okay? Next slide, please. So, science is made more complete by its relationship with arts. Uh, arts and science are both human attempts to comprehend and then explain the world around us, as what I've said. When done successfully and in tandem, they can cause us to see the world in different light. And even more importantly, they can change our fundamental truth. So, science and art are naturally overlapping. Both are means of investigation, as what I've said. So, both involve um, ideas, theories, hypotheses that are tested in place where mind and hand came together. It's either in a laboratory or in a studio. The reason why art is necessary to science it is because creativity involves imagination. Yon. I want you to take note of that. Creativity involves imagination. And imagination is visualization. So things we are able to conceptualize, visualize, or imagine in our own, in our own mind are the things we can also create. If we can have the tools to do so, then oftentimes, some of us have the greatest discoveries in science involving or using the form of art. Oh, so, tulad nung sabi ko kanina, yung sa prehistorically pa lang, so meron na siyang collaboration na nagaganap. Next slide, please. So the biggest question here is that, can we use art and creativity as a medium of learning in science? What do you think? Can we use art and creativity as a medium of learning in science? If if yung nasabi ko na kanina is meron siyang potential or meron na siyang collaboration ever since pa. So ngayon is gagamitin naman natin. Ang challenge natin dito is gagamitin ang art as tulay or as a medium in teaching science or in learning science. So I know that most of us or many of the students don't really love science and or find it difficult and some um and sad to say that many of them failed so yun nga yun yung challenge natin on how we're going to um teach science in a colorful manner where we can encourage and find students a find science uh where students can find science a catchy subject so the answer is yes so seven uh, next 
ஹலோ நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்லைட் So, introducing art as a way of study science would not only allow students to understand the core of science is creativity, but it will, it will also allow them to better learn scientific concepts and rules. So, oftentimes, the ability to visualize and imagine certain processes is important in solving scientific problems. So, by the integration of art and science, students understand an interrelatedness of everything they learn. So this method of teaching and learning also promotes creativity and collaboration and all of this leads to scientific literacy. So ano yung tinutukoy ko? Can you put in the next slide please? So there are many ways, there are many ways to employ a visual art in science classroom as you can see in the image. So art-based activities can help students comprehend abstract scientific theories and improve their critical thinking skills. Through the manipulation of images and materials, these activities can also adjust deficits in sequencing and visual-spatial relationship. So, ganyan nung nasa sa image, um, Pwede naman silang gumamit ng iba't ibang kulay. O, pwede naman silang gumamit ng plain lang na kulay. Bakit iba-iba? Bakit pink? Bakit green? For, kasi ang reason behind that is paano maging catch yung experiment para hindi maging boring. Kasi nga, ang purpose natin dito is to catch the attention of our learners. So, with each visual interpretation of scientific concept, um, it is important that the students can show an understanding of the connection between the images and the concept So it is not uh, hindi lang ba ang goal natin dito is hindi lang basta magturo. Magturo in a colorful way at the same time maintindihan nila kung ano yung pinapagawa natin. Okay? Kasi useless lang naman pag nagturo tayo, yes, colorful, pero hindi natin naiintindihan. So ulitin ko yung challenge natin dito in teaching science is that ituro natin siya na maging catchy at the same time may matutunan sila. Okay, here are some examples of art-based activities integrating science, gaya ng nasa image. So, magpapakita ko sa inyo ng mga samples kung if you're questioning, bakit, paano, um, kayo ba kang bigyan? Yes, I have some examples. So, next slide, please. First, we have collage. So, collage are means uh, for students to gather and assemble images that represent an idea. This is especially appealing for students who are self-conscious about their perceived lack of artistic abilities. So when studies are making collage in science, the collage grows out of complete research. Having background information allows the student to make critical choices when looking for appropriate image to represent written facts. So collage, kung tutusin, common siya sa ating mga paralan. Pero ang tanong, ginamit ba siya sa science? Yun yung question natin, mostly hindi. Kasi, yun nga, ang kadalasan lang sa atin, ginagawa lang ang collage in art, in art subjects. So, without knowing na collage can be also a key or we can use as a medium in teaching science. So, paano siya gagawin? Can you show us the next slide, please? So, example dito is the periodic table of elements project. So, first step, the students are assigned an element. Students are given worksheet with questions about the elements and the specific internet sites to retrieve the information. It's either yung sa gadgets or encyclopedia, Google. So students gather their images based on their research. In a given format, the students create a collage of images including the name of the element, the symbol, and the atomic mass or the atomic number. So with all these elements collected, the teachers can make a large periodic table on the wall. So each student presents an element. Studies also describes how each chosen image is connected to the element. So collage. Um, alam ko naman si uh, alam niyo naman siguro yung periodic table of elements isa sa sa parang collection collection ng different types of elements um, na makikita natin sa earth uh, nandoon yung um, atomic number niya saan siya ni discover ganun so paano siya based on the given na uh, mga steps ano nga ba ang magiging resulta niya kung gagamitan natin ng collage yung sa periodic table so 
I know na nagkaroon ako ng idea, pero ito yung actual na image na. Can you show us the next slide, please? Yan. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura ng sinasabi kong collage. So, paano nga ba siya implement ni teacher? For example, magbubunutan sa klase. Ang nabunot, for example, ni student A is... Okay. Student A is... Hanap siya sa internet or sa encyclopedia na uh, may relationship sa oxygen. And with that, ang kailangan niya lang is, gaya lang yan, parang small small cardboard lang. So, itatapat niya lang yung symbol ng oxygen, then which is O. Sa paligid nun, idikita yung maklaro. As you can see, meron siyang iba't ibang elements at the same time, meron yung mga connection. Bakit natin gagawin to? Kasi, for example, ikaw ba, as a student, Bibigyan ka ng table. Sa so, tipo magkaka-idea ka agad? Di ba hindi? Okay? So, para mas maintindihan nila yung element na yon. for example, bibigyan ka ng hindi common na element. Di ba? Argon, bibigyan ka ng, sa tingin ba, malalaman mo ano yung argon agad? Hindi. Di ba? So, with this, with the help of this, we can able to understand agad. Kasi meron na siyang nakikita. Tsaka so, hindi lang siya basta-basta ididikit sa wall. At the same time, i-explain din nila yan sa harap. Bale, um, ang oxygen is abundant on the earth. Ganun -ganun. It was found in some materials or some equipments, hospital equipments. Ganun. So next is um, ito, hindi lang after na-explain ng teacher, ng bata, ang note nito, after nito, is explain naman siya ng teacher. So, bali, pag nagpagawa kayo ng ganito, is idikit siya sa wall. Okay? Pakita nila. Tsaka, makakagain din siya ng interest sa ibang bata. Kasi, for example, ako nakabunod ako ng oxygen. So, nagkakaroon ako ng curiosity kung ano yung nabunod ng mga kaklase ko. With that, titingnan ko. Ano yung meron dyan? So, mas nagkakaroon din siya at the same time ng communication. Nagko-collaborate silang dalawa or nagko-collaborate yung mga students natin. So, hindi na masyadong mahirapan si teacher pag-explain sa periodic table of elements and there, yung mga elements na present doon. Okay, next slide, please. Next up, we have cellular models. Cellular models, one student understands different parts of the There are different ways they can build a three-dimensional. So, we all have our topics about cell is really difficult. So, marami siyang mga parts na kailangan natin i-familiarize kasi each of them has unique um, purpose or own duty inside the cell. So, how you can able, as a teacher, how you can able to teach this to a young individual na hindi pa masyadong familiarize sa ganun na pag kahit pinatingnan mo yun sa microscope, hindi nila maintindihan kung ano yun. So, gagawa tayo ng alternative way at ito yon yung cellular model. So, the student will assemble a plant cell-like structure. The students will use different types of candies and represent the cell organelles. So, bakit candies? Candies kasi, alam naman natin, kids love sweets. So, pag sinaming, okay, bukas magdala kayo ng candies. So, mahihikayot yung mga students natin na mag-participate kasi candies nga yun. So, there's a possibility nga after nun is kakainin nila yung mga ginagawa ginagawa nila. So, lastly, the students will make a key for what each candy represents. So, hindi lang basta mag-build sila. So, pwede din siyang group activity. Pwede nilang gawin. So, next slide, please. So, kids are highly curious about the world around them. They, any parent knows that at the very early age, kids begin to ask lots of why. Questions, they're Questions have to do with the real life and therefore important to them. So yun nga, maraming, alam naman natin pag bata, palatanong talaga sila, bakit ganito nang exist, bakit naman, um, bakit, paano nangyari to? So yun yung, yun yung sus, ano natin na ituro sa kanila yung science behind that specific na bagay na mas mabilis, mas mabilis silang maintindihan. Okay, next slide please. So, kids learn science in a superior way when we direct their natural curiosity and build upon their developing science skills to actually do real life, a real science hands-on. So, simply stated, 
the best way for kids to learn science is by doing real science. A child can get scientific facts or even a knowledge from a book. However, they are fully immersed in the learning process when they do. It has been found in so many studies na effective yung hands-on activities, especially when teaching science uh, subject na gaya ng science na mahirap. So, maraming way kasi ang bata para matuto, di ba? So, even me, I prefer hands-on activities. It's just that I find um, the thing that I will be doing is easy and understandable, and I am the one who is doing that. So, and my brain absorbs the knowledge. Pag ganun, kasi naggagawa ko siya eh. Mas mabilis ko rin siyang maalala. So, example doon, yung pinakita ko kanina, yung sa collage and yung sa cellular model. So, mas mabilis nilang maintindihan o unawaan nila. Yun, yun yung, ano natin doon? Yun yung advantages. Next slide, please. For it. For every art based no ayan. for every art based project the effectiveness of the piece should be discussed as a class important parallels can be drawn between the lab report and the artist critic in a critic a piece of work is examined layer of meaning as peeled away and observations must be backed up with valid reasoning so children nga yung students natin dito so pag nagpagawa tayo ng ganto Ano ba, yung cellular model, nag-explain like tayo sa parts na ang mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell. Ganun. Ipapaliwanag din siya after ng maggawa ng bata, mag-create, ipaliwanag nila, i-discuss, magkakaroon ng um, nutshell or yung pang ano ng teacher, siya yung mag-wrap up ng lahat, i-summarize niya lahat na mas maintindihan pa, na mas clearer pa doon sa mismong bata na nag-discuss noong specific na topic. Next. Is art and so the biggest question here is that another question is is science and art collaboration is still possible in pandemic? So yon, sir, paano naman natin implement siya? E yung ginagawa nyo is for face to face lang, gayo ng cellular uh, grouping siya. So ano siya face to face? E ngayon pandemic siya. Paano naman natin siya may apply? So ang tanong madi disregard ba yon? Hindi. Okay. I'm going to show you the next, uh, please show us the next slide, please. The answer is laboratories. Yun yung key dun sa question na possible ba siya sa pandemic. So laboratory work is essential for developing students observational skills and helping them better understand and experiment foundations of natural sciences. But hands-on labs are expensive and not even, and not in every school or homeschooling who ops has the money to buy equipment and supplies. So, ang biggest challenge lang dito is mahal yung mga laboratories. So, ano yung alternative? No? Marami tayong bagay na pwede nating gawin. Kasi mahal nga yung, pwede tayong, um, gaya ng nung ginawa namin. So, our teacher tasked us to do a home laboratory. So, wala naman kami mga materials na nasa lab. So, naggawa kami ng alternative. So, ano yun naman yung ano dito, note dito? We must be careful. Kailangan pag gagawa tayo ng laboratory, home laboratory, may guidance ng parents natin. Kasi sa laboratory, may, kung may sinusunod tayo sa laboratory na um, safety precautions, ganun din sa bahay. Dapat mas mahigpit sa bahay. Kasi, for example, nag-involve siya ng fire. So, and hopefully, hindi magpagawa yung teacher ng ano, na may involvement ng fire. So, sa laboratories natin, meron tayong mga fire teacher. Sa iba natin, meron. Yun yung question. So, kailangan siya ng guidance ng parents ko. So, kung makikita nyo, yung mga activities ng mga kapatid nyo or ano, kailangan talaga nakanote lagi doon na kailangan na mag-ano ng parents, may involvement lagi yung parents kasama dapat yung ginagawa. So, next slide please. So, here are some experiments that you can do at home. So, I'm going to show you yung mga sinabi ko kanina na home laboratories. Kung sinabi kong possible, ipakita ko, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga example ng nagawa na namin actually. So, next slide please. Yun. So, next, oh, first is 
we have the lava lamp experiment. So, madali lang siya. So, the Okay, just bear with us, guys. Baka nawal na po na connection si speaker. Wait lang po muna tayo. Okay, so while we are waiting for um for the speaker, baka nawala lang po siya ng connection kasi maulan na. Ayun, so I'm sorry, nawala yung ayun, internet ayun. connection ko. Sorry, sorry. So ayun, next slide, ayun. please. Dito na lang sa phone. Okay, sa phone. Next slide, please. So next, we have the elephant toothpaste. So experiment. We can use this to explain how chemical reactions occur in a colorful way. Ayun. So naririn pa ba ako? Um, anybody? Naririnig po ba ako? Yes po, yes. audible. Yes po. Ayan. Ayan. So, uh, next slide, please. Next up, we have the DNA extraction. So, ito naman yung ginawa namin, yung bago lang this last uh, this term. So DNA extraction. So when you hear DNA, it sounds difficult, right? So ipapakita namin sa inyo kung paano namin siya ginawa sa bahay. Okay, can you please play the video? Um, hindi siya mag-play? Okay, so I guess parang hindi siya mag-play. Um, anybody who can show us the video? So to give you na lang a hint, yung ginawa namin doon is a glay extraction kami. So basically may procedure kami sinunod. Healthy precautions, so, ayan. Ayan na ito, Mark. Pa full screen, please. So, DNA extraction yan. So, basically, ako yung nag-voice over yan. And today, we're going to perform a DNA extraction. And of course, we have to wear our PPE and wash our hands with soap. After that, we're going to rinse it with running water. Now, let's prepare for a precipitating solution, starting with table salt, liquid detergent, bananas, and hot water, cheesecloth, strainer, and a bowl. Lastly, our blender. And here we go. To finally start our experiment, let's put some 5 tablespoons of salt in our glass. After that, we're going to put some liquid detergent. Now, let's going to put the hot water. Be careful, it's hot. Then, set aside. Now, we are going to blend our bananas. For the blending process, please don't dump your bananas whole directly to the blender. Cut it like this way. Okay. Right after putting all our bananas, 
Let's try to blend it in a short bit. After that, let's put some 5 tablespoons of our precipitating solution. And then, blend again. After blending our bananas, we are going to filter it using a cheesecloth. Just like that. And ta -da! Here's the output. Wow. That one looks like... Now, while waiting for our filtration process to be done, let's clean first our working area. After extracting all the liquids from our bananas, we're going to transfer it in a glass and add some alcohol. Yeah, that was amazing. Take a look! That white fibrous mass that appears is the DNA! That was cool, right? The science behind it is that the precipitating agent destroys the banana cells and the DNA dissolves in the water. In alcohol, DNA precipitates as fibers. DNA can be also isolated from peaches, strawberries, or a chicken liver. Amazing, right? If you're going to perform the same experiment, just take note of the measurements and the procedures and also the precautions. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching and listening. This is Group 6. Mabuhay! I will always remember. So, yun. Um, thank you. Um, as you, uh, kung magtatanong kayo bakit siya nakatayo, kasi nga ang... Ang uh, sabi ng prof namin is a uh, TikTok challenge siya. So basically, short lang siya kasi i-occupy uh, namin yung time na allotted lang. So ngayon, yung challenge, ang ginawa namin doon is DNA extraction nga. So nagbabuffer ata sa dulo. Ay, baka akin lang. So parang ano lang siya. We can actually give you the copy of that video if you want to para mas maintindihan nyo lang maigi yung pinakita ko sa video. So next slide. Oh, wait lang. So, even at elementary level, it can help a box slide muna. So, even at the elementary level, it can help build confidence as well as develop of, of abstract skills that so often lead to concept and conclusion. So, the first project consists of building dioramas in which the third dimension plus imagination, and a few facts are combined in a box to make parts of the universe more immediate and real. So, yung pinakita ko sa inyo sa video is applicable sa usually sa high school students or senior high senior high students kasi complicated siya. Magbe-blender, ganon. So, paano naman pag sa elementary? Magpapakita tayo ng sample. So, next slide, please. So, Ang ginawa ko dito is nag-search ako ng mga sa FB. So, one of my FB friends with Bang. So, her name is Charmaine Jimenez Rola, 10 years old from San Juan Elementary School, grade 3. A uh, special science student. So, grade 3 siya, special science. So, can you please show us the video? So, nag-conduct sila, nag sila ng sinabi ko ng dioramas.
So, ayan. So, credits again to Miss Charmaine Jimenez Rola for sharing her videos to us. So, yun. As you can see, tatlo na yung nagawa nila. So, I don't know if tatlo lang ba the entire year or baka mayroon pa. So, una niyang ginawa is yung sa solar system. Next is yung sa volcano. And here, the last one, the waterfalls diorama. So, ganyan yung diorama. Parang representation or a model of something. So, bodies of water, bodies of land. So, pwede siya, possible siya sa bahay. Kasi yan, mukhang sa bahay lang talaga yung ginawa. Kasi wala namang face-to-face. So, now, message that to all the future educators here, like me, take note that um, it is not enough na nakapagbigay lang tayo ng activity, okay? Because our goal here is to teach them, to make them learn. It has been found that using art and creativity is the best way or a possible way to teach science. Why not try to apply it? And to all the students who attended the webinar, um, keep on mind that learning must continue even in, even in this pandemic or even this situation. So there are many various ways we can incorporate science and art together. Um, just make sure na i-apply natin yung safety protocols and especially with the help of our parents so sila naman yung kasama natin sa bahay. And here are the some news from the Philippines. So next slide please. Uh, news from the Philippines. Next. So a group of electrical engineering college students from Camarines or Polytechnic Colleges uh, made a Filipino sign language interpreting gloves for their thesis project. So, alam kong nakatat na to kasi sa, sa Facebook. So, I know na familiar na kayo dito sa topic na to. I mean, sa project na to. Next, we have... Next slide. A, a team of biomedical engineers from De La Salle University led by Dr. Nilo Bongtai has created a agapay, a robotic skeleton prototype with a biofeedback mechanism for rehab rehabilitation of post-stroke and injury injured patients by assisting motor movements in the shoulder, arm, and hand. So, yung dalawang yun is gawa siya sa gawang Pinoy or naka-invento is mga Pinoy. Imagine at this young age, nakagawa na sila. And I will end my... Um, message with a quote. So, next last slide. So, the art and sciences are avatars of human creativity. So, this girl is Macy Himen uh, Himison. Is she's an American astronaut and a physician who, on June 4, 1987, and become the first Afri African American woman to be admitted into the NASA's astronaut. So. Isa din, siya yung kauna become, she is the first um, African-American to send in the space. In recognition of her accomplishment, Emerson has received several awards and honorary doctorates. So, hope guys that you learned something from me. So, again, yung topic natin yung kanina is yung, wag natin kalimutan, i-apply natin na, um, is it possible or, it is wonderful that we are going to integrate art and creativity in teaching science. So together, art and science is in education have the power to spark innovation in students. And yun lang guys, hope you learned something today. Again, this is Smart Lagapa Manokan. And hope you're doing great. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for letting us remember all the facts, experiences, in science and art, sir, especially to those videos that you have presented. It's a very nice talent to be artistic and being known in science thing at the same time. Nakakabilag, di ba, partner? Partner, di ako ba? Partner. Yeah, I'm still hard on. Uh, technical difficulties. Ah, uh, well, partner, na ba? Uh, mapapasa na all ka na lang taga, talaga kasi it's a uh, different thing when science and art, you know, became one. So, yeah, yeah. Ako lang ba, guys, ang nakakaramdam ng ganitong feeling? <laughs> I feel you, partner. Napapasa na all ka na lang talaga kasi 
wala eh, pang isang anuhan lang talaga yung utak natin, hindi kaya ng pang sabayan eh. Parang yung Correct. speaker natin, di ba? Pogi na. Yeah. Yes, matalina pa. Sayo all. Yeah. Full package guys. Uh, Pamain na lang guys sa comment section. <laughs> Gawin nyo na lang po kasi wala po char. So ayun, as... Uh-huh. Go ahead, partner. And anyway, guys, as we promised, uh, we'll have the question and answer portion of this event. So you can now, guys, uh, type in your questions that, you know, you want to have, like, a clarification or something. You can now uh, start when, well, uh, while we're waiting for that, let's, you know, uh, read some of the things here on the comment section here in our Google Meet. Let's have a shout out to everyone's commenting here. We have here uh, si Kuya Gio. Hi, Kuya Gio. This is our fellow uh, science major uh, colleague who is now a teacher also. Also, we have here uh, Jormalin from Science 2. Um, um, Angelica Po from Science 2. We have Carla National. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, comment. We are really grateful. Also, we have here John Lennon, Manalansan. Thank you, Dao, Sir Manokan. Yes, naman. <laughs> so, we also have here Rupa May Panoy, Mariel Nob, uh, Dayan Kaakbay, and Sana Aldao from Kuya Gio, and Carlo National. Ang gaganda ng magpart. Okay, wala lang to. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, malita ba guys? So also we have John Olingay, Eileen Gadja, our fellow BSE Science 3. Also Angelic Lee, kudos ma'am and sir. Thank you so much for that. We also have Sylvester Nalin and Rodel Galisana. Hello. Carlo National, pamay ng isang babaeng partner. Uh, name, name your price, John. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, we also have here uh, Erica May Rodriguez from Science One. Hello, everyone from Science One. And Carlo National is from La Salle University, Osama City. Wow, uh, hello, everyone from there. We also have uh, Shana Murao. Hello. And Christe May Ali Alinyabon. Also, uh, Ferry Jan Javier, uh, very instructive. Thank you for sharing from BSE Science One. Hello, BSE Science One. Des Daisiri Soriano, thank you, Mom and Sir. Galing nyo po. Job well done. And congrats po. Thank you. So, sabi ni Jira, ano, available daw si, ito, si Manu yan, guys. <laughs> Just comment, comment your bidding, guys. <laughs> Uh, from Kuya Gia says, I uh, hope this season, guys, miss you na kayo. Miss you to Kuya. I like, uh, you know, our all struggles here. Uh, from Jormalin, uh, shout out, Bangalisa National High School, province of Masbate. Regine Kyle Reyes, ang ganda ng mga MC. <laughs> ano ba guys, huwag nahiya ako. <laughs> Hindi na ito maulit. Oh my gosh, wala na. Um, Partner, from, kalmahan mo. <laughs> ay, sorry. Uh, from Carlo National, again, it says that, uh, may I ask if you were, but yeah, we will provide the e-certificate. No worries on that. And Stephanie Aguilar, available po po po. Wala na kinakain ko na kay lipstick ko dito. Uh, let's also, uh, you can not type in your questions, guys, if you have like a cl clarification or you mm -hmm. want some um, answer to your question. Let's, <laughs> oh, well, let's check here. Mom, I'll partner, request um, <laughs> Yes, uh, I'll also add some um participation from RFP Live right now. Because mm -hmm. I wanna, I wanna acknowledge all the presence of the family of Mr. Manon. Very powerful, <laughs> man. Yeah, so, I agree, partner. Family, yeah, diba? I was. Yeah, I was reading their comments and they were like, oh, nice. Nice Sana support. Sure. Sana all. <laughs> Very proud family there. And yep, thank you so to Mr. Oh, Mr. James Russell. Seems very familiar. I've learned something. Thank you so much po kung meron man pong marami kayong learnings na nakuha. And yep, still the family of Mr. Manokan. Hi po sa inyong lahat kung nasan mo po kayong lugar. Welcome po to sa webinar namin. And thank you to all our participants. 
Yes, partner, may nakita ka bang mga questions ngayon? Wala. It's, um, we are, we have here like a Sean Levin de la Cruz. Thank you for your free webinar, a Bachelor of Science and Criminology. Hi. You are very much welcome. Angelically love that on BS in behalf of science. So, well, I guess, partner, they don't have any questions right now because I do believe that all of three of our speakers um, uh, spoke everything well. Like, they give all the information that is needed for our viewers mm -hmm. and audience to be understand everything about it, that they are being speechless, speechless right now. They can ask anything. That's actually correct, partner. It's it's very nice experience, of course, for all our participants. And I know that our um, speakers is so much pleasure to share all those ideas, guys. To our speakers, do you have any last words to our audience? Guys, hi. Yan yung mga speaker natin, nagagandahan at nagwagpupuhang mga speaker. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, ayun, explain to us. Baka may mga questions pa kayo, baka gusto nyo yung linawin. Um, actually, doon sa mga experiments, is pwede na available siya sa YouTube channel, pero private siya. So, basically, i-PM nyo na lang ako then regarding sa link. So, pwede ko siyang ipapanood sa inyo. Available po sa amin doon is yung paano gumawa ng vinegar, um, potato osmosis, available din siya. And yung mga DNA extraction, meron din kaming mga TikTok videos na pwede namang i-ano sa inyo. Pero i-PM nyo na lang kahit sino sa amin. Pero mas maganda pag sa akin. <laughs> yeah, correct. Um, as, yeah, especially from uh, for, from our fellow uh, science major from uh, Aries, Science 2 and Science 1, uh, you don't have to be shy asking us uh, regarding to this one because uh, you can definitely use this one for your uh, future uses also. Yeah, that's actually correct, guys. So, huwag kayo mahiya, mga atit kuya nyo kami. So, mga kamaas nyo kami anytime. Yun? Correct. Uh -huh. Ay, let's so, move uh, forward, partner. Uh -huh. Wala na silang uh -huh. question. Okay. Uh, however, um, moving forward, everyone, uh, we'll now be on the uh, warning part of this webinar. But before uh, we proceed... Um, through the awarding uh, awarding uh, ceremony, we really appreciate those um, all the audiences that we have um, today, and uh, we really appreciate your time, guys, rendering to us. And we hope that you got a lot of learnings coming from our speakers. And uh, yep, let, let's just enjoy up until the end. <laughs> Yeah, yep. They truly shared the best part of the 21st uh, century literacies. Well, I'll now call uh, Miss Jacqueline Andaya to award the certificates. The, mm -hmm. the floor is yours, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Kyla and Miss Javen. Okay. Um, na po yung certificate. Okay, uh, in Yolohia Amang Rodriguez, Institute of Science and Technology, Nagtahan Palok Manila, College of Education, Certificate of Appreciation is hereby awarded to Miss Nicole C. Peñaranda for sharing her time and insight as a resource speaker in the webinar titled Pandemic Preparedness in 21st Century with the team 21st Century Literacies amidst pandemic, looking into the challenges and opportunities given this on 15th of July 2021. 20, um, signed by Miss Daisy May, Profess, uh, Daisy May R. Bongtiwon, our, sci our science chairperson, and Mr. James Kasupanan, BSE science, may, uh, science may Mayor. So... Congratulations, Miss uh, Nicole Peñaranda. Next to Mr. Um, Armando R. Aloro Jr. And lastly, for our uh, speaker, Mr. Mark Manokan. And then, thank you po sa Mark L. Manokan. Thank you for our awesome speaker today. Have a good day po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you uh, thank you very much for that uh, miss ja and yep before we proceed to the closing remarks we really um like to acknowledge the presence of all the teachers who joined us today if we have the the, the those teachers na meron tayo dyan, na nanonood and um who's become part of this session it's a pleasure uh, for us to have uh, you today ma'am sir of course and also to our students guests and the audience who's here thank you so much guys also to our uh, subject professor uh, professor arlon p cadiz thank you for giving this opportunity to us sir mm -hmm. and also to our beloved um advisor and the chairperson of the science um department uh, prof daisy r and i know ma'am um major rush nato pero thank you so much for uh for attending to our session research na lang i just uh -huh. mm -hmm. i just want to add also everyone um in behalf of science three guys let's do this Kunti na lang. Uh -huh. na tayo <laughs> and um lastly mm -hmm. Yep, we really like to acknowledge the effort of all um, the science, um, BSC Science um, 3 students. Ikaw, Parker, may masasabi ka po sa mga classmates natin. <laughs> Always the best, guys. Uh, we know, um, you know, we can say and we can share this to everyone that um, lahat ng bagay is napagtatagumpayan, lalo na pagkasama-sama-sama. Uh, we just want to share and we just want to be proud like Science 3 is the the first, I think, um, batch in uh, College of Education that's still standing strong with the, you know, we we are still standing strong here, Kaya guys. And we are really thanking you guys for all the efforts that still doing our very best despite of, uh, you know, we have a lot, lot of bunch and bunch of things to do. Kaya ang kaya Okay, so moving forward, um, thank you again. And to formally close this webinar, let's uh, hear the closing remarks uh, from our professor, Professor Arlon Picades. Uh, but since um, we don't have a sir here because of health condition, we'll have the vice mayor of the class, uh, Ms. Marinel Delisay, to uh, have the closing remarks. Uh, take it away, Ms. Delisay. Ladies and gentlemen, during the past few hours, we realized that this pandemic would not hinder us to learn. That even though our movements are restricted, we still find the good and bad. We learned today that amidst the challenges we are facing right now, we still to continue to harness our skills and abilities in order for us to grow and to work as a better individuals. We have reach the end of the seminar and is my task to provide some close remarks. It is a sad task because we shall be closing the door on lively and bidding farewell. However, it is also a privilege and an honor to be entrusted with such an undertaking at a gathering of such eminent students and of course teachers from different schools. We would like to thank our three speakers, Ms. Nicole Peñaranda, Mr. Armando Aloro, and Mr. Mark Manohan from the Science Department of the College of Education. Thank you for sharing to us your insights and valuable knowledge of today's topic. We are very grateful to the BSE Science Support Team for their efforts in making this webinar possible. Let us not forget our subject teacher, Sir Arlan Cadiz, and our department chairman, Ma'am Daisyme Bontiwon, for their unwavering guidance and support. Thank you very much, Mom and Sir. At the end of the day, all we need is hope and strength. Hope that it will eventually get better and strength to hold on till it does. And while we are waiting, whatever hardship, challenges, and decisions, and fears that we are facing, we just remember that this too shall pass, and by the grace of God, we will overcome. To our students, we hope that they to continue to trust us, that we have that what we do today will define what kind of health professionals they will be in the future. We promise 
that excellence will still be part of everything that we do for them and our community. Just remember, Oro is still full of wonderful possibilities for all of us. We look forward to see you again and hoping that we can overcome these challenges today. Thank you everyone and God bless. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much, uh, our uh, Vice Mayor, Ms. Delisai, for your uh, closing remarks. We truly appreciate it, too. Uh, to formally uh, uh, close this one, uh, before we leave everything, um, I just want to us have to, uh, our, to sing for our ears, too. <laughs> everyone. So, meron bang chance na makapag-picture tayo guys sa mga audience? Hi, Kuya! Kuya! Hi, Kuya Gio! Hi, Kuya Gio! Hi, Hi guys! <laughs> picture na, Kuya! Baka po pwede makapag-open from yung iba nating audience dyan para lang may documentation tayo. Hi po sa inyong lahat! Thank you so much! And presentation mo na po. <laughs> Ayan. Paen po ng presentation. Ayan. 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 Ang fresh naman. Sana all. Okay. One, two, three. Hi, everyone. <laughs> One more. One, two, three, smile. Okay, let's wait the other. Refresh nyo naman po, guys. Any insight ko yung Gio? Tapang po, isa pa. Webinar. Any insight, Kuya G? Thank you for your attention. Special. Any insight, po, sa inyo guys? May input ka ba yan, Kuya G? Thank you. Ako may input ka, Kuya G. May natutunan ka ba yan? Walang ako may input. Output lang yan. 